Hey guys, so I accidentally deleted the intro to the video that you're going to see soon, but I just quickly wanted to tell you um, that these are 10 hygiene tips that your mama did not tell you. But um, yeah, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Okay girls, between me and you, this is a tip for me and you and all the girls out there who um, can relate. Don't douche down there. I know your mom probably told you don't put no water, you know, don't go crazy down there. Don't put flowers and roses and all that stuff. You have your natural scent. So don't douche, don't put any soaps down there that does not belong there. Don't put your um Bath and Body Works soap down there. It's trying to smell like peppernut, peppermint, mocha, sweet pea, lavender. We don't need that right now, okay? You don't need that stress down there because you have your own pH and you need to keep it in that certain range and the soaps are not made for that. So don't even touch down there with soap, to be honest. Just use a water and wash rag and just clean between the areas in between, just clean it around. Don't get extra with it. It does its job by itself perfectly fine. If you do feel like you're suffering from scent down there though, um, that's really a dietary thing or maybe something else, but you need to go to your doctor for that. But if it is a dietary issue, cut off the sweets, cut down the sweets or cut off the sweets, drink lots of water, you know, the typical tips that people tell you to get that scent away that um, you probably collected throughout the day, throughout your day. Because sometimes, you know, you might live in the city, so you might carry a lot of like toxins that are in the air and it clings to your body, like whether you like it or not. Like if you ever had like synthetic hair and you come back from like a party that probably had like a lot of smoke, you come back the next day and you're like, it's the same thing behind your ear. So just get a cotton swab, a cotton ball, and just clean it back there with a the toner. And I promise you, you're going to have gunk back there because it collects like in literally 24 hours. Okay. My next tip might be a little, ooh, but girl, you need to know, boy, you need to know as well. Scrub and exfoliate underneath your butt cheeks. Like, I'm gonna sound real crazy right now, but honestly, a lot of us have darkening under our butt cheeks, and that could be due to because our sedentary lifestyle when you sit down and, you know, we're at the places where you sit a lot, it tends to be the darkest parts but also it could be accumulation of dirt. So, like I said, get an exfoliator. My favorite I really like to use right now is just simple, just brown sugar. Like it doesn't even have to be the craziest thing like St. Ives or some crazy $50 product. You can just literally get some brown sugar, put a little bit of olive oil in it to get more moisture and just scrub underneath. So I really prefer that right now and it helps to clean under there and just get that gunk out because you want a nice, even skin tone back there as well ladies and gentlemen and also do not forget your thighs and your back of your neck too those are places that can really get some extra attention when it comes to exfoliation um you can even use loofahs something that has a rough texture to kind of get that grime off because especially between your thighs and then a lot of darkening happens there as well because is scraping against each other and so you need to just scrub there just a little bit just to get it lighter so it can be even complexion my next tip, you know, is you don't have to follow it, you don't have to use it, but you know, something that has, has that has been a little nice ugh, in my life is nothing crazy. It's just flushable wipes. Yes, you remember using it when you were a kid, but now you can use it when you're a doll. There's no, why should you not use it now because you're a taller person of your version of yourself, you know? If you're a woman, make sure that wipe doesn't touch um, the other region because like, like I said in the previous tip, it's gonna mess with your pH. Okay, change your washcloth every two days. Like, I promise you, I don't know if y'all call it washcloth where you're at, rags where you're at, but change it every two days. Um, three, you pushing three, but honestly, don't go a week. Like, come on, don't do a week, that's not cute. You have all this dirt, that's, you see the dirt going down the drain. Trust me, that dirt is also in your rag or washcloth, I promise you. But change it every two days. And also because, you know, you're cleaning in areas that are very sensitive as well. You're cleaning your butt, you know, stuff like that. So in your armpits, like places that hold a lot of scent, you need to change every two days. And also change your towel every five, seven days. If it's seven days you're pushing it. I just said seven just so you can feel better about yourself. But five days is the... I would say change every five days because it starts to get that moldy scent and it's holding up, it's trapping, 
the reason for a towel is to hold water so it's probably getting trapped with a lot of water throughout the day and you know it depends on how many showers you take as well if you take two showers a day then you might have to change it earlier than five days but if you take it once a day you know just change it five days another tip concerning rags this is tip number six um definitely use a white washcloth or rag every day for your face so get i say whites because when you use white washcloths you can see what you missed so i wash my face in the morning i get i use a brand new washcloth a brand new white washcloth and i dry my face and i say hmm I have brown stuff on my washcloth when I got to this region. So now I know that I probably missed some makeup right there or something or something like that. Not in the morning, actually. That'd be like a nighttime thing. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I only have set, I have eight washcloths just in case. I, just in case. But seven washcloths, one for every day. Another tip that I really recommend, and I don't know if it's exactly hygiene, but it's like sanitation, especially during the fall season because it's flu season. I highly recommend using a Lysol spray and spraying your surface areas that you know are getting um, with, that, that you know that has heavy contact. Spray Lysol on the on all the handles, all the switches, even like the, the knobs that you use to touch the stove with, to turn on the stove, everything that you can possibly think of that, hmm, that gets a lot of traffic. Spray it. And I promise you, you just feel a lot more better about yourself. And that's, and at least you say, I tried to not be sick. Also, tip number eight, boil that toothbrush container, boo. I promise you, it sounds weird like, hmm, boil a toothbrush container, what? Okay, toothbrush container holds a lot of bacteria because it is a closed container. And it probably has two or three holes on the container, which is cute, but it's not that airable. So, of course, bacteria is going to accumulate. I would do this like once a week or maybe two weeks. If you're doing more, if you have time, I'm just trying to make it more realistic. But um, boil it for after the water has been boiled. Keep the container in the water for about five to seven minutes because you don't want the you don't want the container to melt because most toothbrush containers are plastic so you don't want it to melt and you probably after boiling it for like five to six times it probably is not going to keep it's probably not going to be the same anymore so my best so your best bet is to keep replacing toothbrush containers after five or six boils just to keep bacteria low these past two tips we're just trying to keep bacteria low okay girl and guys oh my, my ninth tip <laughs> is to is when you go to a public restroom which is not the best place to use the restroom. We all have the horror stories. But if you go to a public restrooms and sadly, just sadly, they have no soap, which I think we have all experienced this. They did not have any soap. Cause you know, you probably went to that crusty old gas station. I digress. Make sure you wash your hands vigorously on the hottest setting you can have in, on the water temperature. And vigorously scrub your hands for twice the time that is recommended. So you're supposed to wash your hands, but sing the alphabet song and then sing it again. That is that is how long you should wash your hands if you don't have soap. Because I actually learned this in one of my um, microbiology classes that if you don't have soap, you know, that physical, that physical movement can cut down so much more bacteria. Because sometimes I see people, when I know there's no soap in the bathroom, we all going through it at the same time in this public bathroom and they just go like, bam, 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 thank you, ma'am. So yeah, I know that's a weird tip, but I, it will help you, I promise you. My last tip, tip number 10, basically to put a tea bag in your shoe. The shoe that's the shoe or the shoes? Just had to pluralize that for some people. Just saying. So I would recommend getting a tea bag and soaking it in, um, hot water, like warm water, so it can like pull out those toxins out your feet so you know it can smell better. They can suck out the toxins. You can even do apple cider vinegar rinse. 
um, on your foot or you can just actually ingest it so it can clean you from the inside out that's even better actually so those are my 10 tips and i'm actually gonna make more videos very consistently now because school is over yes for this semester we got next semester and next semester after that next semester after that <laughs> we got a long way um but yeah if you want another life update i can definitely do that for y'all because my life has been updated definitely check me out subscribe if you haven't comment down below please tell me your hygiene tips that you feel like people should know and thumbs up this video all right thank you guys